that's about 300 yards from the, from the edge of the village as marked out from the old road in the centre. Now it's no coincidence that 300 yards from there is at this very busy modern junction. This is the junction between Dunner and Bukitima Road and Clementi Road. In the old days it used to be called Reformatory Road and it was the next kind of landmark that Yamashita was heading for from the village where his two divisions had grouped together and mushed, mushed all together. Now he was looking for two more routes. One was straight down into town or down the Bukitima Road. The other would be to turn right and go down towards the coast and drive into the city from the south. So this is an important crossroad. This was a decision time for Yamashita. What was his next approach? What was his next tactics? Where he was going to send his two divisions? And he decided the trip to go straight on towards Adam Park and the 80, turn right and head towards the coast. In his way, on the evening of the 10th of February 1942, was one anti-tank uh, group sitting here with a couple of guns trying to fend off a couple of divisions of the uh, Japanese 25th Army. This is probably an archaeologist's worst nightmare. Where is the old stuff in this kind of environment? Where's the old road? Where's the Pomachi road? Where's the old Pukatima road? It's really difficult amongst all this concrete to look for the old stuff, landmarks where we can fix our location and compare it with the battle maps. Fortunately, just for us here opposite McDonald's, a brand new condominium, just in the distance there, you can see an old rail girder bridge. And that was here in 1942, and that's where we're going next to tell the rest of the story of the 11th of February 1942.